Hey guys, uh, this is the Hub TV, uh, the most fascinating stories. My name is Jesse Bull. Welcome to another exciting episode. My name is Ruth Nyambura Mbagara. I am the mother to the trending boy, Ian Gige Joroge. This is my firstborn boy, uh, whom I, we, I, I was born and I have brought him up by myself. He's a boy I dedicated in church. We have been in church at uh, Deliverance Church Don Home. He's a member of the youth service in Deliverance, and that is where we fellowship. Uh, I was so, so heartbroken when I had come home from a business trip that night, and all I saw was uh, flying squad cars outside my gate. And uh, in shock, I went inside and I found policemen folding my boy down and when I asked why they are folding him down they showed me a video and told me this your boy is a murderer he's a robber he wanted to kill this man this man is in the ICU and he's very sick because of what he did and um, I was surprised because my son I have brought him up in a Christian way he's a boy who has gone to a good school he was in Sunshine uh, Secondary School in Langata Road He's a boy who has grown with manners, he's God-fearing, he is obedient, very polite at home, very, very polite. I've never seen him uh, agitated, so I am actually even not uh, able to tell whether it's some, uh, something must have happened to that boy. Uh, I asked him why, he told me, one, I, 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 I wanted to bring the car back home before the time for going to church. And then on my way, I, I met this policeman. It is true, I made a U-turn. And when I asked him what he wants, he told, he told me actually he wants 10,000. And I told him I cannot because I'm a student and this is my mother's car which I stole, which is kawaida for this young man. We understand, sometimes they sneak out and come back, which is okay. And he's a good driver. And as he, he takes me to work. So he's someone I, I, am, I can trust him on the road. Even now, if you see that car, he's still intact. So it's a car I use for work myself. So he told me he was uh, asked for 10,000, which he didn't have. Mm. And he said he's going to call, call his friends so that they can changa for him. He told the police he can raise five. And he refused even that five. So me, uh, when he was around there, some Matatu guys came. And they're the ones who like uh, kind of told the, the police, you give this Kijana the key to his car. And because he had really, really tried to plead with the policeman, because he didn't want Taimia Church Ifike, Kabla Jakuja Home Diapeleke, his sister, to church. So he was looking at time and what the policeman is doing. So he became agitated. I'm thinking so. Uh, so that is what I can say. But my boy is not, my, that is the car I use. He cannot have, I cannot have a sword in my car. I cannot There's have a sword. They are putting allegation that he, has a, he had a sword in the car. And he had, um, a, so I'm wondering, if he had a sword in the car, that is the car I use. Me, how, can I have a sword? I'm a lady. Who, who can I shoot with a, with a sword? Then, if he had that sword, why didn't he run with that sword and, 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 and stab that policeman? Within that scarf, of the, because I'm using the videos we saw, where did he take that walkie Tokyo they are saying he stole? My boy is not a thief. Even in my house, even if I leave 10 shillings there, I can assure you, he will never take it. Kenyans, I want to tell you, I'm speaking from a, 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 like a mother. A mother who has been uh, hurting, one, because of seeing how the, the boy has trended in a negative way. I want to apologize, first of all, and say what he did was not right. You are, he was not supposed to beat that man. And I agree, and I already told him that was wrong. But at the same time, Kenyans, please, it is very wrong to say things that you don't know. How can you say he was arrested at his girlfriend's house? Am I his girlfriend? I'm his mother. Kenyan, stop blogging what you don't know. It is good to get down to the truth and say the truth. Today it is me. Tomorrow will be your son.